Hey, my name is Jay Lamaro, and today I'm going to tell you everything you need to know about Turner Syndrome, or should we call it TS. It's disorder, which in cells are missing all parts of an X chromosome in a second sex chromosome, leaving the child, which is the female, with a 45 karyotype count. So, basically when the, the male sperm and the female egg, when they fertilize, in, when they're making cell division, it doesn't split apart. So, they, it just keeps that X and stays that way. I'm going to talk to you about some symptoms of Turner Syndrome. You have a broad chest, you, your eyelids will droop, you have fingernails that will turn upward, high narrow plate roof of the mouth, low hairline in back of the head, low sets of ears, receding lower jaw, a short hands, slower delayed in growth, smaller lower jaw, smaller, smaller at height, smaller weight at birth, Swelling of the hands and feet, well like neck, wide neck, widely spaced nipples. Growth spurs do not occur at the expected childhood times. During the three years of the life, toddler may be normal height. However, by the age of three, their growth rate will be lower than average. So the child, it just, just so basically, some of the signs may not show right now. But as the child grows older and it gets and it reaches three years old, you may see some some changes. You will have learning difficulties. You have social problems, non-functioning ovaries. You may not be able to have a kid if you had Turner syndrome. Prevention. There is no known method for prevention for Turner Syndrome. This, order, this disorder occurs randomly and is not inherited. Therefore, the mother has the disorder. Does not necessarily mean the do her daughter will as well. If Turner Syndrome is suspected during pregnancy, prenat prenatal screening and di diagnostic testing may be performed. Patients with Turner Syndrome should always stay con in contact with the doctors at the hospital. is diagnosed. Sometimes diagnosis is made at birth because heart problems are unusually wide neck, swelling of hands and feet. Two main, two main, the two main clinical features of Turner syndrome are short stature and the lack of development of the ovaries. Turner syndrome may be suspected in pregnancy during the ultrasound test. This this can be confirmed by prenatal testing, aminosynthesis, to obtain cells from the unborn baby from chromosomal analysis. Diagnosis is confirmed by a blood test called karyotype. Let me tell you about how it's treated. Growth hormone injections are beneficial in some individuals with Turner syndrome. Injections are awfully begin and it will often begin in the early childhood. So they'll get it and the child should uh the the height should increase by a few inches. Let me tell you about the prognosis. Because Turner syndrome is a problem with the chromosomes, there is no cure. Okay. However, the prognosis for Turner syndrome can be good with careful and, with careful and consistent monitor, monitoring of a person's health and early treatment of problems can occur. Many women with Turner syndrome lead full active lives and can 
expect a normal lifespan. So if you continue to get your regular treatment like you're supposed to, follow up with the doctor like you're supposed to, you can live a long life. And that is my presentation, and I will get back to you later. Bye. Estrogen replacement therapy is used usually started in the time of normal puberty. Around 12 start to break, they start to develop breast. Estrogen and estrogen and pro, pro estrogen and progesterone are all estrogen and progesterone progesterone. Estrogen and progest estrogen and progest estrogen and progesterone are all are given okay. Estrogen and progesterone are estrogen and progesterone are given a little later to be uh, la la la. okay. Estrogen and progesterone are given in the later begin to mother period which is